Hey, what's up guys here at Atos, the last leg of our Road to Worlds tour here in SoCal. Today, this is one of the longest sessions, it's scheduled for almost two and a half hours. I know we're going to see a lot of positional sparring, hard rounds, and of course some drilling. Let Bay Andre Gabao, let's jump in there. Dominic is teaching class right now, so this is the 9 a.m. class. So the next class is uh, it's 10:45 complex. So I'll show you the gym. Jonathan Gracie. <laughs> okay. Nick, nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. And then like it's like a more mellow training, you know. Uh huh. Round for the complex. And that's like the MMA training, with Coach Gabriel. Yeah. We used to be like uh, two blocks away from here, but now we're here like 6,050. Okay, cool. And then like across the parking lot, you saw, right? So right there is like a smaller mat where people like do privates. Like at this time they're doing drills right now. And we have our office there too. Yeah, so today I want to do like uh, short rounds, eight rounds. I'll divide in groups and then after that I'll do regular rounds. So I'll make them like, I would say, free on working on what they want, you know, their best techniques because we have different fighters, different weight divisions, different game, game plan, different uh, strategies, you know, and I'll let them like drill techniques where they feel comfortable in doing according to the weight division. I'll give some insights about situations, rules and stuff and motivate them, you know, because they're already ready. So now it's like, we're just tapering. The mindset right now is very important. So. Just sharp their mindset and make make sure like they feel like they're ready, you know. That's the most important thing right now. <laughs> Para 2022, a grande meta é o ADCC. Logo depois do ADCC, tem o Mundial ainda, mas eu não sei se eu vou fazer o Mundial, mas o PAN, o PAN americano com certeza. Mas o Big Bowl desse ano é o ADCC. É o grande sonho de todo mundo, né? Ok, então eu estou muito impressionado, estou olhando em todas as medalhas e as trofeias. Qual é o mais importante para você? <laughs> All of them is really, really important. Even like the small little medals that you see there when I wear like a blue belt, purple belt. Each one, when I see them, I kind of like bring back the feeling, you know, like that I felt at the moment. That medal right there, like from 2017, when I won uh, the Worlds, my last world title, uh, coaching everyone, teaching, doing the camp, running the camp, being outside of the mat helping everyone to achieve their goals. The first time that Atos became world champion overall it was an incredible moment in my career. And of course, uh, the last ADCC against Vipena uh, was in the day of my birthday. You know, it was really, really special, it was amazing. We, I don't have this one because um, the house burned out. Uh, when I came to the United States, the house burned out and I lost my medal. Then I asked MGGF to replace, they, they couldn't replace. But it was very special too. <laughs> but I kept like, it's, it's in my mind, you know? <laughs> yes. Uh, Alright guys, let's start the class. Okay. Alright guys, so we're very close to uh, Worlds. Very, very close. Uh, you guys are going to find about a week, right? Um, it's very important like to make sure you don't get injured right now at this moment. Okay. If you feel like, oh, the beginning of the fight, I'm gonna go for a takedown, I'm gonna go for a double leg shot, or I'm gonna go for a double pull, I go for a scramble, right? So just drill like what you you thinking about doing as a strategy. Imagine your opponent, you know, the beginning of the fight. You can do guard pull and then attack right away, okay? Just do that back and forth, okay? 
Let's go. One, two, three. Five, go, partners. Since last time I tried, I did the world is the last time I put the gi on, so definitely been a little minute, but I feel good, man. First day back, second day back. Super fun mixing it with all the guys in the gi. It's been a while since I've done it with all of them. And one of the most stacked lightweights I've ever seen. Everyone, Jonathan, Mika. Uh, those like the two guys on my hit list, the two main guys. It's gonna be a hard division. I'm excited to take out the beast first. I'm uh, feeling good. Uh, we have only two weeks away from words. I think I'm in the my best shape right now. Uh, especially after the season, noggy season, I feel more sharp and can't wait to to get one more title or two. since last year, uh, being exciting for the world to coming up right now. Uh, yeah, I'm ready, I'm awake right now. <laughs> Usually I'm not awake. Uh, I'm definitely doing no gear Worlds this year. Uh, I'm gonna use the camp for ADCC to prepare myself to get ready for no gear Worlds. So. But why now is the gear Worlds the, the main goal? Uh, I'm planning to win both this year. I hope that the people of Brazil assiste as minhas lutas no Flow Grappling. Sempre lutas boas que eu sempre faço, gosto de puxar o ritmo da luta. Fiquem ligados aí no Flow Grappling, Ronaldo Júnior, trazer um show pra vocês. Ah, eu tô muito feliz, né? Tem muito tempo que eu não luto em alto nível, assim. Tá treinando aqui é como se fosse todo dia um mundial. Todo dia eu faço finais de mundiais com, com caras que são campeões mundiais. Então, eu tô muito empolgado. É, eu também sei que tipo, vai ser só mais um, um final de semana de um treino muito forte com pessoas que eu não conheço e algumas pessoas que eu conheço. E eu tô bem ansioso eu quero que chegue o momento. Ah, o meu último mundial foi em 2017, onde eu fui campeão na categoria e terceiro colocado no absoluto. Tem três meses que eu voltei a treinar, tem três meses que eu tô nos Estados Unidos, tem três meses que eu tô focadão aí treinando de vídeos com o Galvão. O treino de hoje foi intenso, no começo. Eu quero que eles tenham sucesso, é isso. Se eles sucedem, se eles perdem, porque isso pode acontecer, eu quero que eles se sentem que eles se sentem que eles se sentem 100%. Eu acho que o like, treino está feito, We're ready, we're ready to rock and I have a very good feeling about this world and we have a great chance to, to become champions again. This wraps up the last stop in our Road to Worlds journey. We'll catch up with all y'all at the IBJJF World Championships in Long Beach.